So the next step is to sort out this top bit here. And of course, before I do that, I've got to put the new splash back in. And so, I've got myself a, um, splashed out a bit of money and got myself a, pe a piece of um, fine brush stainless steel. So it is a lot more expensive than I um, wanted to spend, but heck, uh, it's, might as well just go with that. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this edge here. But this little piece here that I cut out, that belongs to this piece in here. You can see there's a the leftover. So this is a real problem because I kind of want to get rid of that so I can slide the stainless steel in, which I think I'm going to do, but I'm going to have to do it in a way that I don't damage this wall. I mean, it doesn't matter about the paint because the stainless steel will be on that, but I'm going to have to try to perhaps use the multi-tool with, with the other head on it and try to scrape away what's left in there. As expected, it ain't going to plan trying to get it, but it's not... Um, Obviously I've got to be careful not to damage this and the wall behind it so it's a bit of a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take this entire unit off. So the first thing I've done is removed the nails that hold it on that side. And I know that there's a, there's also right about here, there, there's a, um, a screw that comes from the back just like these ones here were. So I'm just going to have to try to lift that and pull it out. Just, I'm going to just slowly pull this up. I might have to use two hands to to get under there. Um, okay, so effectively that's all coming out nicely on this corner, but remember there's that screw at the end there. So being chipboard, I should be able to slowly move it out. So I'm going to have to use two hands with that. They're actually just, I don't know if I can get it in focus, they're actually just held in by nails. And in fact, there's one nail out there that's completely missed the mark when they put it together so it's not too bad so it's got nails on on this edge here as you saw beforehand and it's got nails along this edge here success um, interestingly they must have I'm just trying to figure out they must have actually nailed Now these in through the corner here. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's out. So that's a hell of a lot easier. And there you go. These are the two screws that I was talking about earlier on. And that's what I was trying to remove here. Look how much easier that was. Should have done this from the start. Right, so now I'm quite comfortable to put that back in there. And then I'll put the top in and what they've done I think is they've actually nailed it in from the corner here so we'll see how I go, how it um, put, it, put it together here but anyway, now, to time, now it's time to cut out the stainless steel splashback he's cutting that section there remember from the original template so now it's sitting nicely now what you see there is the plastic cover, that's why it's got that dirty, so over here you peel that, you peel this cover off and it'll reveal the, see, the nice stainless steel on that. So I just keep that there for the moment while I'm still measuring, um, but, it, but effectively it now sits pretty much the way it should be, happy with that, I think it's going to turn out very nice. So I'll continue now 
with fixing that in, obviously putting that back over there and we're pretty much on the home stretch now. Finally put all that bench top over here that's been screwed in so now that lifts up nicely and I can lock it into play with this bling looking nut. i um, still got to obviously clean it all up here. But that fits nicely, lots of, lots of support there. So pretty much I'm happy with that. So now the next thing to do is to... Well actually I'm going to peel this back now. So how about... Oh actually before I do that I've got to screw in the, the sink back in into these, into these holes there by, and make sure that I've got pressure backwards towards that and then once I've done that I'll peel off the the protector strip and then add the edging strips. Right, it's been a bit of a saga um, getting to this point and the reason for that is these holes here. So I've basically had to drill through the stainless in order to fit the trim. So and my idea is to actually um, secure them with one eighth pop rivets because I noticed in the past they were just nailed in and there was nothing really holding it from popping back out. Now I struggled for about an hour, I kid you not, um, trying to do these two holes alone and I tried all the drills that I had and I thought they can't all be blunt but obviously uh, I found out since then and of course you're always learning these things or I am at least that um, there is these One's called heavy duty cobalt drill bit and it specifically says it's for stainless steel. Now it doesn't matter the brand, but you need to get the cobalt drill bit. And once I had this, it went through, I was drilling each hole in about 30 seconds. So it goes to show you that yes, um, even though you don't want to spend money um, at times, it's a good idea to invest in proper tools. Now having said that, I'm going to continue on, I'm going to now start putting these in and I'll show you the finished product, but yeah, it's getting there. It is all done. It actually does make a big difference even though I've been probably cursing the last couple of days, but anyway. Um, only thing is, is I just realised that it's probably, I've probably made a rod from my own back because the wife is probably going to want the same in, in the actual house, but anyway. Um, yeah, so pop with that in, so that's going to be absolutely secure, that it's not going to go anywhere. Looks fantastic, I think so anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd be interested to hear what you've got to say. Uh, so, bench top here done, as I mentioned earlier on. Opens up nicely. Oven in place. So now all we need to do is get it all hooked up and ready to rock and roll. But there you have it. And that's been, uh, I think, uh, pretty much three days just to do this section here. So there you go. That's, that's how it goes with um, custom stuff. But anyway, I'll leave it at this. So there's plenty more to do in the van itself. Obviously, we've got the roof coming up um, to do over the next couple of weeks. So there will be another video. And of course, once the roof is up, then I'll be putting all the the uh, doors back in. And I've still got to make this section here, which was like a little shelf. That's still got to happen. But, um, oh, and of course, I'm going to have to start thinking about positioning the fridge in there. So that'll be another video. Well, as always, thanks for watching. And um, if you have any comments, just post them up. I always read my comments. So, um... Enjoy. Thank you.